Bill here, Mammothly Tanked, and today I'm going to show you a simple but effective conversion to have your Horus Heresy Space Marines Legion's Vexillas held in your Marines' hands as opposed to attached to their backpacks. For this conversion, you'll need a pin vise drill bit and a piece of brass rod, both in the same diameter, a plastic Space Marine from either the Mark VI, IV, or III kits, any close combat weapon arm holding a haft of a weapon and not a pistol grip, and your normal assortment of hobby tools including exacto knife, clippers, and super glue. To start with, I built the legs and torso of my marine following the normal instructions. You can use any of the legs and torso combination here, but I prefer the ones that have a marine in a more neutral standing still pose as opposed to walking forward. I just think it looks better with a flag planted on the ground than being waved in the air, but whatever you want to do it, this technique will work for all of the poses that come with the MK6 kit, as well as each of the legs in the MK4 and MK3 kit as well. The next thing I did was find a pair of suitable arms for this conversion, and unfortunately the Mark VI kit only comes with one pair of close combat arms, and I wanted to save for the sergeant of the kit. So for this conversion, I had to turn to the Stern Guard kit, which while it's technically in Mark VII armor, it's pretty close to Mark VI, so it'll work for this purpose. Much like the legs posing before, any close combat arms will work for this, but I chose one that has a kind of firing position on the right arm, with the left arm kind of cocked up like it would be holding a weapon up, or in this case, a banner, as I'll show you in a second. To start with, I gently slice off the weapon from the close combat hand, but I make sure to leave the bottom part of the weapon here, as I use this as the base plate for my banner later on. Once the weapon's removed, I scrape down any remaining resin and start to drill my hole into the hand for the banner pole itself. One of the tricks with drilling like this, though, is to make sure that you have the drill bit in the right spot. It helps to put a little bit of a divot into your hand with an X-Acto knife. This will serve almost as a pilot hole for your drill bit, and ensure that your drill doesn't kind of jump around on you and goes exactly where you want it to go. This is a bit of precision drilling here, so I'm careful to slowly drill into this hand and to make sure that I'm getting a straight line as any deviation from this straight line here will cause the banner pole itself to be a little bit wobbly. It's also critically important that the drill bit you're using is the same diameter as the brass rod. It's obviously want the brass rod to go through the hole you're drilling. But unfortunately, I didn't have the correct truck for my pin vise to actually secure the proper size drill bit into it. Um, it was a little bit too small. So in that case, I had to first drill a pilot hole with a normal size drill bit and use my fingers to actually drill out the larger hole to fit the diameter of the brass rod, as you can see here. Next up, I assemble the arms in the model in a way that the banner will be held straight up and test fit the brass rod. For the Vexilla bit, all I really do here is remove this pole and then carve out the back of this banner piece so the brass rod will fit in nicely after I drill a hole through the skull. This process was easier before in the Mark III and IV kits as we didn't have this banner piece at the bottom of the Vexilla. But for this model, what I do is I cut out the crossbar behind the banner piece or whatever it's called, I don't know, the scroll work maybe and then carve out the back of the scroll work with my exacto knife to carefully trim away all extra plastic so the brass rod can fit behind it without it getting in the way. From there, all that's really left for the Vexilla is to drill out the same size hole as the brass rod through the skull and glue the top piece in place. Once you've carved out most of the plastic behind the scroll work, you can gently bend it around the brass rod so it doesn't get in the way of it and instead looks like it's two pieces that were meant to be together. In order to get the length of the Vexilla pole correct, I slide the brass rod through the hand and position the head of the Vexilla roughly where I want it to be. I then clip the brass rod roughly where it meets the foot of my model. There's really no right or wrong length here, just whatever your personal preference is. I generally try to have my Vexilla go fairly high above the model's head so it stands out on the battlefield. To finish off the Vexilla, I use the pommel from the weapon we cut off before to add a little kind of end cap to the banner rod just to make it a little more finished and add a little more flair to it. And to do this is pretty simple. Again, we just drill a small hole into this and attach it to the bottom of the banner pole from before. Once that's in place, I adjust the model's axilla so that it rests firmly on the ground, but it's not going beyond the bottom of the foot, so when I place this model on a base, it won't get in the way of the model sitting flush against the base's surface. I also test this positioning a few times, by placing the model on my desk to ensure that it sits flat. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I just use a small dab of super glue to glue the brass rod against the hand, and this part of the conversion is done. The rest of the model is built fairly normally, with the only real deviation here coming from the bolter itself, as I want this model still to be armed with a bolt gun, but 
all of the Umbra pattern, I think, bolt guns from the Mark VI kit have the left hand sculpted on, so it's really hard to do a one hand firing pose. To get around this though, I clipped off the hand with my clippers and then carefully trimmed down the remaining lumps of plastic until the bolt gun was free of the offending left hand. So that's pretty much it for this model. I know I spent a lot of time here going over pretty much just using a brass rod to create a banner pull for the Vexilla bit, but I really like how this looks on my models and I've been doing this for a while now and will keep on spending the time to do so on all remaining Vexillas for my future Horse Heresy armies. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and do some interactive stuff. Uh, YouTube likes that and I get, I guess, dopamine hits whenever I see my numbers go up on YouTube. So thanks for watching and as always, hobby on.